What's up, guys? I am Kyle Fine King with the FXBG Sharks, and I have your Thursday Night Football Parlay. Tonight is the 49ers against the Giants. The question we have to ask ourselves, are the 49ers the most dominant team in football, and are the Giants on a comeback run to be able to shock the world tonight? I'm leaning more towards the 49ers still being dominant, so I went ahead and put together a, six, a six-leg parlay for you to bet on tonight on your preferred sports betting apps. Um, first up, I'm taking Purdy. They get 200-plus passing yards. Uh, he had 220 passing yards against the Steelers, and he had 206 passing yards against the Rams. So that makes me pretty confident, and it comes in at a plus 300. Um, the Giants also allowed 143 receiving yards against the Cowboys. Uh, that should give me pause against this. But they also allowed 40 unanswered points. The Cowboys had zero passing TDs. Um, there are two interceptions in the game and one pick six. So not all the points, none of the points came from passing, but they picked up on rushing and uh, and also defense did a lot of the work for the Cowboys in that game. And the, the um, Giants doubled down last week by giving up 321 yard passing yards last week to the Cardinals. So I think that's a pretty solid pick. Um, next up, I have Purdy having two passing touchdowns in this. This is where I took a little bit of risk. Kittle has been quiet this season. I think it's time for him to shine. I didn't have the cojones to pick Kittle for anytime TD, but I think he might have multiple TDs tonight. So, uh, Purdy had zero pass TDs against the Rams, and he had two pass TDs against the Steelers again with Ayuk who is dealing with a shoulder injury. So I think Kittle's going to step in for that, but I'm still not putting that down. So Purdy with two passing TDs, 1.5. Um, it comes in at minus 113. I have a Chris McCaffrey anytime touchdown simply because he has 11 consecutive games with a touchdown. I see that stopping tonight. The Giants have not been good against the rush all season, and I think CMC is going to shine in this game. The Giants have allowed 122 rush yards against the Cowboys, and they also had three rushing TDs in that game. And you guys know what happened last week with the Cardinals in the first half. So I'm also going to take um, Chris McCaffrey with 90 rush yards. I wasn't going to do 100, but I went ahead and brought it down just a little bit to make sure it hits. And that comes in at a plus um, 118. Um, Debo, um, 40 receiving yards, came in at minus 250. Um, he had 55 receiving yards against the Steelers, and he had 63 against the Rams. So I think a Debo anytime TD might be good too, but I wasn't trying to be greedy. Um, then I took the 49ers minus 6.5 at a minus 186, simply because I'm still hurting. I'll never forget what the Rams did to me last week. That field goal was unnecessary. <laughs> the 49ers um, win the game by at least a touchdown, and I brought that down from 10.5 an alternative. I'm stressed. All together, this um, the odds are a plus eight oh two. My wager is five bucks, so I win forty five twelve with this. But now, twin, you can win like eighty something bucks. You can do the math from there. Um, join me tomorrow. I will have my FXBG Sharks picks posted with a graphic like we do every week. Um, that one's a pretty big bet, so you want to come back for that. But that's it for now. These are my picks. They might not be your picks, but they are mine. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Happy and safe betting. King out.